Hello everyone, welcome back to our Lakshmi's Physics classes. In this video, I am going to explain about variation of acceleration due to gravity with height. First, I will explain what is the acceleration due to gravity variation when the object is considered on the surface. Let it be earth. Okay, and this is the center of earth. Capital R be the radius and capital M be the mass of the earth. Now let us consider one small object on the surface of the earth and its mass is let us say small m. So I uh, will consider let it be case 1. So I am considering an object on the surface of the earth. Okay. So let capital M be the mass of the earth. And small m be the mass of the object or point object. And capital R is the radius of the earth. Okay. When we consider an object on the surface of the earth, here weight of the body is equal to the gravitational force acting on it. So the weight of the body weight of the body or object is equal to the gravitational force acting on it. We know that we will represent the weight with W which is equal to gravitational force acting on it. So formula for the weight is mg and here the gravitational force we know that gravitational force formula F equal to m1 m2 g into m1 m2 divided by r square. So according to this formula here g into m is mass of the earth capital M and small m is the mass of the object divided by distance between them is r capital r so square is there here it is square see on both sides small m is get cancelled and the remaining term small g is equal to g m by r square so this is the acceleration due to gravity when an object is on the surface let it be equation number one let us consider the case two So we will consider at some height, object is considered at some height. Now let this is the earth and capital R is the radius of the earth and capital M is the mass of the earth. And now I consider an object of mass small m at certain height let us say small h from the surface of the earth ok so here small h is the height of an object from the surface an object from the surface of the earth again here weight of the body is equal to the gravitational force is equal to the gravitational force acting on it. So again here weight is nothing but the mg weight is equal to gravitational force acting on it weight is mg which is equal to gravitational force formula here g into so m1 m2 by r square one mass is capital M other mass is small m divided by r square r is the distance between the both the bodies centers of the both the bodies so here uh, distance between them is 
total distance is here h plus r so we can say that this is r plus h whole square on both sides here small m will get cancelled so here g is equal to capital g m by r plus h whole square let it be equation number 2 let's do the remaining calculation so here we got two equations uh, g equal to g m by r square when the object is on the surface and g equal to g m by r plus h whole square when an object is considered at some height let's say small h now divide equation number 2 with 1 divide equation number 2 with equation number 1 so we'll get here this g is uh, we consider at some height h so you can write it as g h so g h is equal to g capital m divided by r plus h whole square whole divided by this we have to divide with equation 1 so this on right hand side g m by r square so this can be written as g h by g is equal to g m by r plus h whole square and this I am writing r square divided by gm so look at this here and here also gm is there so these two will get cancelled so the remaining terms g h by g is equal to r square by r plus h whole square okay now g h is equal to r square by r plus h whole square into g so this can be written as g h is equal to r by r plus h your denominator and numerator square is there so you can write one square into g this is the variation of acceleration due to gravity with height let's see the case 3 so here variation of acceleration due to gravity variation of acceleration due to gravity with small heights Here condition is applied h is much much less than r capital R is the radius of the earth let us consider let it be equation number 3 now from equation number 3 we can write from equation number 3 gh is equal to Just I am writing this on the numerator and this is on the denominator. Look at this r plus h by r. So this will become minus 2 into g. So this is now g h is equal to separate the denominator for both the terms. So h by r whole to the power of minus 2 into g. So g h is equal to 1 plus h by r whole to the power of minus 2 into g so let it be equation number 4 now from binomial expansion we know that 1 plus x whole to the power of minus n is equal to 1 plus nx plus and so on. Here we can neglect the higher order terms as h is much much less than r. So from this in the place of uh, x here h by r is there. So I am writing this 1 plus h by r whole to the power of minus 2 which is equal to 1 minus n means here minus 2 x means h by R. Let it be equation number 5. Now substitute equation number 5 in 4. Equation number 5 in 4. So we will get
gh is equal to here in this place 1 plus h to the power of minus 2 means we can write it as 1 minus 2h by r into g okay so for small heights h above the surface of the earth the value of acceleration due to gravity is decreases by the factor 1 minus 2h by r i'll write that line here by the factor 1 minus 2h by r i hope this is clear to you please like the video share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching this video